Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shelby, this is Armors and Arrows. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you are new here, welcome. Today, we are going to have a mid-year homeschool chat for the 2018-2019 first grade school year for my six-year-old son. Now, I kind of went back and forth on if I wanted to do this video because I don't feel like I've been as good of as a homeschool mom as I should have been and we'll get into that in just a little bit but yeah I just um let's see it's just it's kind of been crazy we went on a vacation like we started out the year really well and then we went on a vacation and things just kind of went blop blop and I was in my third trimester of pregnancy and I just, I don't know, I just had a really hard time of getting back into the groove of things. I was tired, I had the three kids, six, two, and one. I was in my third trimester of pregnancy, trying to keep up with everything. And I just really felt, I don't know, I just, I felt, I feel bad that I didn't keep up with homeschooling as I should have. But at the same time, I think it was just the season of life that we were in. Um, it's hard to do it all on your own. And like physically do it all on your own. And that's what I was doing. I had to do it all, all on my own because my husband was gone a lot for work. Um, so it, it just was really hard in a way. And... I just let some things go and one of them was I want to say homeschooling but we schooled in different ways we didn't sit down like I plan to do the level K primer and level K from the good and the beautiful and you know that they're a little bit advanced like this level K we're pretty much almost done with it but this is easy for him and I started him out with this so we could get in the groove of how things were with the level with the good and the beautiful but we would do different things like easy peasy all in one homeschool we would work on that stuff i would print different things off so i didn't stick to this completely or the good and the beautiful like i had planned for the first semester but like for the language arts and stuff you know we do different things um so he did learn but it wasn't like it wasn't what I had pictured at the beginning of the year. I thought, we're going to sit down with this book. As soon as we're done with this book, which we're almost done, we're going to move on to the next level, blah, 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 this and that. I thought we'd be at the next level at this point, but we're not, and that's okay. Um, things are becoming more into a groove, routine, whatever you want to call it, and... I think we're going to power through the rest of this and then jump right into the next book. But, um, yeah, so the first semester didn't go as I thought it would. I thought we'd be a lot farther along in this good, the beautiful curriculum than we are, but we're not. And I have to be okay with that because that's, it was just the time of life that we were in. And then, you know, after our vacation and stuff, I had the baby and then the holidays hit like boom 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 so it's just everything's I don't know where exactly I'm going with this I'm sorry I'm all over the place but basically we didn't do what I thought we would exactly so like I said with the language arts this level K primer we're gonna finish this up move into the level K there's going to be a lot that he's going to breeze through, but I want him to have a solid foundation of phonics and all that stuff. So that's why I'm doing this. And then um, with math, I would print off worksheets. I'd make up worksheets. We do math things all the time. This is the math I picked for him. I think you guys saw that in my video. Um, we've done a few lessons in this, and for some reason I've had a hard time just getting into it. I don't know if it's just because pulling out all the manipulatives with little toddlers around. I don't know. I've just had a hard time getting into teaching him math with this. Um, I've looked at a couple different other math curriculums, but I haven't really found anything that 
I like as much as this one, so I'm just going to suck it up and teach him from this. I am not a big math person, so my husband might be doing some of the math teaching with our kids because he is really good at the math. Um, and then for science and history, I just let him do whatever. Like, he wanted to learn about space? Okay. We would go look up information on the computer when I would have kids in my lap and we'd watch different little videos about it and things like that. Um, books about history, you know, just different things that he would want to learn. We would go get those or, you know, get them from Audible. And he would listen to those and I would listen too and then, you know, ask him questions. Well, what about this or this? So that's kind of what we did with science and history. Um, something that we were very consistent with is our, um, most people call it Bible, but I call it gospel studies. And that is just reading scriptures every day and practicing the articles of faith. Um, I can do a video on what we do for our gospel studies. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below if you are interested in any of the curriculum that we're using and I can do videos on that. So yeah, it didn't go, I really feel like this video is all scattered too, but the first semester of 2018-2019 school year for first grade did not go as well as I had planned out in my head and I think I had all these big ideas but with my husband being gone, I think I think I set myself up for failure in a way because I tried to bite off more than I could chew. And at first it really bothered me, but now it's just like, no, you know, I can there's not really a behind in homeschool. Like each kid is at their own level. Um it's going to be okay and I can start over or not start over but I can just start and we can get into it and everything and it's going to be okay so for 2019 we are going to or starting in January we're going to power through this math book and then we're going to start the second one so this is the level K good and beautiful level K course book one math K course book one we're gonna finish up this level K primer and move into level K which I don't have and level K is more of like a first grade level anyways I guess from what people say from the good and beautiful it's more it's called level K but that doesn't mean kindergarten it's more of a first grade level um, so that is what we're going to do for the 2000 or starting in January we're gonna finish those up and start you know just get everything and I think we can power through it um, and so what we're going to do so instead of me just throwing in a bunch of subjects we're going to do say language arts for one week and that's I think that's the only subject we're gonna do we're gonna start um, turn it aside We'll probably have already started after you guys see this video. I'm not exactly sure on the posting date, but yeah, we'll have started after you guys see this video. So, for the first week, we are going to do just language arts. And then, the second week, we're going to add in math. And then, we are going to do history and science so I have history year one from the good and the beautiful and I have some science courses from the good and the beautiful and the way I have it planned out to do it is we are going to do a unit of history and a unit of science so like we're gonna do unit one of the history and then I have space science and water and our water and our world and the safety unit I'm going to be ordering a few more science curr um, curriculums from the Good and the Beautiful. So we're going to pick one of those. I'm thinking we're probably going to do the bug one first. But we're going to do a unit of history for 
I don't know, however many weeks it takes. And then we're going to do a unit of science. That's what I'm thinking. Now when it comes to it, we may change it. Um, I'll let you guys know in my next update. Let me know down below in the comments if you would do a unit of history and just focus on that for, say, eight weeks, and then do a unit of science and, say, focus on that for eight weeks. Or would you do science once a week and history once a week and have them going simultaneously? Let me know down below what you guys would do. Anyways, that is my very confusing homeschool update for the 2018-2019 homeschool year for my first grader. If you guys have a homeschool update, let me know in the comments down below and I will go check it out. Also, or if you don't have a video about it, just let me know how your homeschool year is going. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.